Hey guys, it's your favorite space pirate, Dread Captain James, and I've got a good one for you this week. For those of us that have No Man's Sky on both console and PC, it can be really frustrating to have built amazing bases on your PS5 or Xbox, only to realize that you can't edit it on PC. Thankfully, there is a way, and I've learned just how to accomplish it. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. Due to the unbelievable wealth of knowledge that the illustrious Beeblebum possesses, he's taught me how to do it, and now I'm going to teach you. Also, make sure to drop a sub to his channel, the link is below in the details. Alright, let's get into it. As you might notice by the insanely low frame rate, I'm standing outside of one of the largest bases I've ever made, Fort Dread. It's currently home to over 3,000 Nip Nip plants and I built it on my PS5. The PS5 has a stroke every time I try to load it up, so I've been looking for a way to move it over to the PC, but until recently, I didn't think it was possible. Cut to our evil abilities now, and here we are at the highly illegal Fort Dread 2.0 on a completely different planet, but in existence nonetheless. You'll notice the frame rate is better, but still chuggy. And that's got to do with the absolute behemoth this base is. On my PC, it takes it down to about 30 FPS, and that's saying something. Every part is here, and all of it in the correct place. So, how'd I do it? I'm going to show you right now. First thing you're going to need is a No Man's Sky save editor, and in this case, I used Goat Fungus. I have the link below in the description. The save editor is the one that I covered in another video, also linked and it allows you to do a lot. With this knowledge, I'm beginning to realize now that what I consider to be a lot is really more like the tip of the iceberg. So getting a base from one account to another, this is how it works. You must visit that base with your PC save account. Once you've done that, your PC save retains the information of that base for a short time, allowing you to capture that information, save it, and transpose it into another base of your choosing. Sounds complicated, and it is, but let me show you how to do it. In my case, it was very complicated because this base is so large, I can't upload it. So in order for me to actually see it in its full glory, I had to join up with my PS5 save in a multiplayer session and meet myself at the base. I waited about 15 to 20 minutes for everything to fully load in, strolled around and got to see my base in its full access for the first time on PC. It was magnificent. Once I was done, I jumped into and out of my ship to create a save point and then exited the game. The next phase was to open up the save editor, select my save, and under edit, select raw JSON. I'm going to call that JSON because that's easier. And we're going to say it a lot. This is where you have to pay a bit of attention. In the left column, player state data is already selected. You need to expand that folder and scroll down till you see a lot of folders labeled chest. Right above those, you are going to see persistent player bases. This is what we're looking for. Expanding this shows us a list of every base we own, as well as the ones we visited recently. Toward the bottom should be the base in question, so go to the last one and click the folder. Lots of code shows up, but if you expand the folder, the subcategories break down the info. Click on owner to see if it's you, then click name to see what the base name was. If you got it right off the bat, that's fantastic. Otherwise, you need to do this for each base on that list until you find the one that you're trying to move. Once you've found it, then click the folder for that base and select and copy the entirety of the data in that file. So start at line one and select all that code, copy, and then open up a text editor and paste it. Save that file. It's now your backup of that information and we're going to be using it in a few moments. Okay, now for the fun part. Consider the base you're moving and what it's going to need to work. In my case, I built this on an EM hotspot. And that hotspot isn't going to get moved with the base, so I needed to go find another one. In your PC save, go locate what you're going to need to make this base work. Now, 
If you're trying to move over a base that conveniently has an EM, an oxygen hotspot, and some other special feature, and is a waterfront property, this is not going to work for you. You're going to need to locate a suitable site for this new base, and it's going to move exactly as it is now, piece by piece. So, if you've built around terrain in a special way, that's going to be reflected here, but the terrain won't be moving with it. So, like I said, this was built on an EM hotspot, so I needed to go find another EM hotspot to power this base. Once you've found that, drop your base computer and name it something memorable. Jump into your ship, create a save, and exit the game. It's go time. We're going to jump back into the save editor and right back to where we just were. That list of persistent player bases should have a new folder in it now, and that should be your new base computer you just put down. Here's where things get tricky. You're going to take the file you just created, that backup, and open it and select all of the objects. And only, I repeat, only the objects. If this is a big base, you're going to need to be very patient and exact with this. Know that you do run the risk of messing up your saves, so back it up if you can. I had some issues before I figured out exactly what I needed to move and I had to delete this new base more than once to get the game to load, so be careful. All right, so select objects all the way to the bottom. I selected on the other side of the quotation mark just to make sure I would be placing this correctly. What worked well was double clicking on the word objects so it highlighted, then I scrolled down to where I could see RID and selected to the end of the word message. Copy that bulk of text and in the new base code, highlight the same chunk of data exactly and paste in what you have. It should match up perfectly. And as long as you have replaced the exact parts, you're good to go. Now, navigate away from that folder, confirm you'd like to save, save the changes on the main tab, close the editor, and open up No Man's Sky. We're gonna see if this worked. This took a bit of tinkering for me, and I had made a few mistakes, things like missing quotation marks, etc. I don't know how to code in JSON, so when and if it didn't work, I would open up that new base in the save editor, delete all the JSON code in that section we were just in, and save it, and it would just delete the base in the game, giving me the opportunity to try again. I'd recommend dropping a save beacon at the spot you want to move this base to, just in case you need to try again. Okay, so that's it. Take a stroll around your base that's now in your PC save and enjoy. You may have to edit a few things, in game to account for the terrain irregularities you might have built around etc but otherwise that should be your base every piece of it for those of you that might not have paid enough attention here's the tldr on the process visit your base drop a new base computer use save editor to edit that base computer and tell it where all the pieces used to build your other base go then save it and boom you have created a copy now Here's the disclaimer. Use this power for good and for good only. It is possible to use this power on any base you can visit. So don't steal others' designs and call them your own. That's super scuzzy and people will know it. But I just want to put it out there. It's not cool. Okay, that's done. I hope you found this to be helpful and something that you can use to get some of your bases to your PC from your console. Let me know how it turns out in the comments. I'm eager to know what successes you've had. Also, come and talk to me while I'm live on Twitch, Monday through Friday during the day until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I'd love to hang out and discuss all things No Man's Sky and beyond. Also, if you found this helpful, please subscribe to the channel as I do a lot of No Man's Sky content as well as other stuff. And if you could smash the thumbs up on the video, it'll help push this through the algorithm. I'm really close to partner here on YouTube and every little bit helps. Thanks again for watching this. I hope it works for you and I'll see you in chat and in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.